believe then you turn back around, go into the church and you preaching God's word, telling people they need to get their life right when your life messed up. Come on now. And then you and then y'all sits up here when when they went when the leader have passed on and, and went away just because of how they have the the uh, the gift of singing or they got the gift or whatever they doing you think they in heaven your gifts is your gifts is not gonna get you in heaven <laughs> it's the way you live audible shy glory to God oh Jesus hold it up by shy it's the way you live. Y'all just don't understand. It's the way you live. Oh God. It's the way you carry their self but I'm not finna go to no funeral and tell these people this folks is in heaven because that's not our job God is the judge we can hope that they're there but you can't put nobody in heaven just as well as you can't put them in hell what's the difference if these people are not living look for somebody to be so young and they doing the work for God and you die and and, and, and and when you when you die you die doing the will of God and then folks sit up here saying that okay well he died and he went to heaven how do you know that how do you know where they at y'all folks are dropping dead in the church because they are playing with God I don't care how you sing, how anointing your voice is. If you're not living the life of holiness, you will not see heaven. God said, be ye holy, for I am holy. You got to live that life. It's so many leaders that I have seen on YouTube that have passed and died. And most of them that I've seen that have died done felt dead in, in the pulpit. Or they done felt dead singing. But what life have you lived? I don't, just because you preached all over the world, just because you sing all over the world, but what life did you live? Did you live a life that was acceptable to God? People, people can't put you in heaven and hell. It's your life that you live was gonna put. Go, well, that's what's gonna be your destination. Because, from my understanding, God is a protector, and He ain't gonna let nothing happen to us. Now, if we, it's a different thing if we up there playing with God. You're putting yourself in danger. Anything can happen to you. So, before you judge somebody and tell these people that, that these leaders that have passed and went on and say that they in heaven, you need to stop it because you don't know where these folks at. You don't know. You doing it because you want to make yourself feel good. But God, but I'm gonna tell you right now. God is real and this is not no plaything. You can make yourself feel good at you, all you want to because at the end of the day you still got to be judged and you got to go before God on judgment day. Y'all sitting up here Talking about people in heaven. Everybody died going to heaven. 
Everybody died going to heaven. Then in that case, then why is it a hell? Cause everybody that died don't go to heaven. I don't. I don't care what type of. I don't care what they did because some folks, some leaders work this on this world. Whatever they done did, whatever work that they done did for God was in vain because they didn't do it the way God wants them to do it. They did it their way. Let's get it right. Get yourself together and quit playing with God. God said this year he's pouring out his wrath. He's pouring out his wrath. Leaders quit playing. All y'all singers that's in the in, that's in the gospel entertainment quit playing with God. If you're going to sing for God, sing. Stop going in there just to be seen. Show off your suits. And your makeup. And all this other stuff that you're doing. When you go into a, a, a singing. You ought to be going in there ready for somebody to get into the presence of God. Quit playing. With God. It's time out for entertainment. It's time out. This thing that, this thing is real. It's not fake. Just like death is real. And if you don't change your ways, then hell you will lift your eyes. That's the word. Turn from your wicked ways. And seek God for real. I'm so sick of these people. Come time out, rest in peace. They in heaven singing and shouting joy. You don't know where them folks at, cause if they didn't live the life of holiness, they didn't do that. What happened? Why did that man fail dead? Why did that woman have a heart attack? You got to ask yourself that. It's time for realness. Get it together. God is not playing. Y'all playing church. And you're going to miss it. You're going to miss it. God, the Bible says. Everybody that say Lord, Lord. I have done all this in your name. I prophesy. I did this. I preach. And go make it into heaven. Reach your word. You got to live the life of holiness. And you got to be real with this thing. You can't play and you can't sugarcoat. And I don't care who get on here and get upset and get mad. This is my channel. I do whatever I want to do on my channel. Because I'm speaking the truth about God. If you don't like it, oh well. If I were you, I would get myself together. And, be, and, 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 and quit playing. Because this year, God is going to pour out his wrath. And all of y'all running around here mocking God, making fun, doing any and everything in the church, bringing in worldly things in the church, and all this other stuff is fixing to be cut out. You're going to have to pay the consequences. And what a day that's going to be when Jesus come back on the clouds. And you look around and you don't see nobody. And you there. You see, only person that you're going to see is probably people that didn't do right with you. You're going to miss it. The Bible says you don't know the day nor the hour that Jesus is going to come. Be ye ready. Be ye also ready. Watch and pray. And a lot of you are being distracted of this world because you're trying to gain this world. 
You're trying to gain all this fame and money. You're so busy, so caught up on yourself that you fix it to forget about God. What profit a man to gain this whole world and you lose your soul? What are you done gained then? What have you accomplished then? Just to know that you're going to hell and you lifting your eyes. All the stuff that you already done made, the, all the uh, 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 all the things that you done um, did on this earth and what you done profit on this earth. What is it going to profit you? And you in hell hollering and burning up and screaming and, and yelling. What is it going to profit you? Nothing. Y'all get it together. Get it together in Jesus' name. I will be praying for people. If you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe, share this video. I want this video to go viral because people need to hear this warning. It's a lot of leaders that's not living the life of, of holiness. They're playing. I could call out all type of famous people name that need to sit down because they're not living a life of holiness. They're playing with God and it's fixing to come to an end. That's why these leaders is dropping dead at the altar in the church and whatever they doing, you better stop it because God is tired. We're living in the end times and Jesus is on his way back and we don't have time to keep playing. You're playing Russian roulette with your life. And you're going to mess around. And you're going to lose. And you're going to lift your eyes in hell. Have a blessed night.